Break key, of course, as always. Here we go, let's go. talking about today what we doing today man we doing a video where we talking about how you do your own car reviews i watched a bunch of videos before i actually made my own youtube channel watching and looking for videos that said how do you do your own car reviews because obviously if you never did a car review you're not going to know how to just hop right into doing car reviews so that's what this video is about hold on real quick boy Now that we got that out the way, Tall Guy Car Views merch, buy you some merch, man. Info's in the description below. Click that little arrow that points down on the bottom right side of your video if you're on your uh, cell phone, and all that'll unfold for you. If you're on your computer, it'll say show more, click that show more, boom, and all that'll unfold for you. But let's get to the point of why we're here, man. Even though y'all here for the merch too, you know what I mean? Um, the video, uh, how do you do your car views, man? Now, this is the thing, like I said, I watched a bunch of videos on how to do car views, all right? Now, there were some people out there who was getting professional equipment said buy the top-notch camera, buy the, the, the top-notch dolly, the slider thing, to just all that stuff. And there were some people out there who say you don't need all that. There were some people who say you need all that. There were some people in between say you need some, you don't need both, you know, whatever the case is. But I'm going to show y'all, I'm not only am I going to show you how to do it, and kind of just like go through a walkthrough, even though if you watch any of my car review videos and you've actually studied or watched some of my videos, you would know how to do my car reviews real, car review videos. But for those who need me to break everything down to the bare bones, I'm gonna take all that meat off for you and show you how to get really to the straight bone of it all. All right, now we're in our location. Let's cut the car and let's get straight to it. All right, now, like I said, there's a lot of people who tell you you gotta get all the dope equipment, all the right stuff, the right quality camera, the, the selfie camera, you gotta get the actual camera camera, you know, whatever. This is all I use. This is a suction cup and I literally use this as a stabilizer and as a suction cup to actually slap on my windshield so that way when I'm doing my in the vlog inside the car, the car view inside the car, it sticks right on and then you put the GoPro in there and it slashes on and holds on to it and then you're good to go. All right, now as far as like a stabilizer, you know, to help with the shakiness, yeah, that's cool, but I feel like when you first start your YouTube channel or whatever you're doing, you know, um, any kind of videos, just start with the bare minimum, you know what I mean, and, and just kind of work your way up to that. Don't spend a lot of money. Don't spend a lot of money getting all the right equipment and your content is boo-boo, all right? Get like something basic like this and use it. I've been using this. I got, I've been on there about six months now at the time of this video, 100 and what? 20 some thousand subscribers or whatever it is right now i can't remember but anyway i've been using this thus far and it's been working out just fine so you don't need all the top notch uh camera equipment and all that stuff and for as far as making thumbnails go this is literally all i use a iphone 6s this is what i use for my thumbnails all right and then for there for um to actually make my thumbnail the website i use is canva.com and pickmonkey.com all right, so if you're wondering, like I said, if you if you want to make a thumbnail, you want to make it look like my thumbnails, it's pickmonkey.com or you can use canva.com and then you got to just tinkle with it all and then you can, uh, after you work with it for a minute, you'll be able to pretty much know how to work it all. All right, but like I said, this is what I use for the inside of my car and this is why I actually walk around and do my vlogs with because I can just hold it like this and then just vlog like this and just hold it out there. Yeah, you look a little bit weird, but you know, to people who know YouTube, you won't look that weird, but to the rest of society, you look kind of weird just talking to a camera like this, you know, but uh, it works. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and put it back in there latch it up all right like i said man a lot of people uh would tell you you need the top notch camera equipment and everything i'm using my suction cup right now my Go my gopro hero 5 black and before i even had this gopro hero 5 black which was kind of like spending when i first got the youtube it was it turned out to be a great investment i actually i had on a uh a black gopro uh hero 3 so not black it was silver but yeah hero 3 gopro and the funny thing about my hero 3 <laughs> it, i don't even think it was the plus hero 3 it was uh it was silver and it didn't even have a screen on the back so i was making videos for months and uh didn't even know the quality of how good the video was going to be until i actually uploaded to my, my computer to edit it on my iMovie on my macbook that's also what i use i use iMovie for all my edits to chop up these videos and everything before i throw it onto the youtube so iMovie on my macbook and at the same time and i have a macbook air the old one so um and also what i use like i said for my thumbnails is pickmonkey.com and canva.com and then uh, what else am I forgetting? I think that's about it. 
But um, and then for like, obviously my music, I used to use uh, my guy 3L, Mr. Underscore Organic, with a K, follows YouTube channel immediately. Um, I would use his music, and I would use my guy Mac Irv music. If you haven't followed Mac Irv, go subscribe to his YouTube channel immediately. It, immediately, it's Mac Irv. Go follow him on there, and uh, also you can follow and see all his music at uh, that Piff, and you can also see it. Oh, this is my mom. Hey, mom. But yeah, my bad. That was my mom. Uh, pardon the interruption, but mom come first. But like I said, man. Uh, follow Mac Irv's music immediately. You can go to, you can find him on that piv. You can find him on SoundCloud. His uh, newest album they just released was called Misfit Five Five Four One One. That's North Minneapolis, from where we're from. If you ain't know, now you know. Now to get straight to it, this is how I do my car reviews. I find like an empty, vacant parking lot like this, as such, and then next you know I kind of park my car in a in a spot or the car that I'll be reviewing in a spot. This is my Hellcat, obviously, but um, I park my car in a spot where you know I get the best sunlight and the best angles and everything. And then what I do first, man, is I talk about the exterior the whip you know and one thing i want to tell y'all man that's real big i feel like anyway is to be yourself when you're doing your car reviews don't try to sound like somebody else don't try to be like somebody else be yourself talk like yourself and i feel like that'd be the best video you could potentially possibly make all right so like i said i talk about the exterior and everything i talk about the wheels i talk about the paint i talk about the the actual whole exterior look of the car in itself the spoiler the exhaust um i come around I talk about the wheels in the front, the brake calipers, the badges, literally anything that you can see on the outside that catches your eye immediately, I talk about those things right away. All right. Now, like I said, this is for the people who haven't watched a lot of my car review videos. And if you're new to my channel, this is literally what I do when I talk. And I just give my thoughts about it. All right. I go around the whip. And then once I'm done going around the exterior of the whip, I literally open the door, pop the hood. And that's usually why I let my guy 3M or with any one of my other homies or friends that I got uh, with me doing the review. And then they pop the hood. And then from there, you know, I let them open up the hood. And then next thing you know, um, we talk about the horsepower, the torque, you know, on some videos. Some I don't. I'm not a real analytical dude. But if you're a real analytical kind of dude, this would be the time where you talk about all those specifics and details. Like I said, I don't really get into that. But, you know, 707 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque, man. Relax. All right. And then after that, after I talked about the uh inside compartment you know the hood and you know all that good stuff and you know the horsepower then i get in the inside and i kind of just do what i'm doing right now now this is a tower here my dog was in here so i want to make sure he didn't scratch up my seats but you know i talk about you know the back seat room the leather quality the door panels you know the just the whole round interior you know what i mean and that's kind of pretty much it you know it's not really nothing special or crazy i actually um don't even do the trunk space or nothing like that but if you do do that you can just hit the trunk button come to the back and then talk about everything that's in the trunk and then shut the trunk and be done with that now mind you while i'm talking about all these things on the inside i just stick my uh suction cup onto the uh, windshield which has my gopro hero 5 black in it and i use that and it just sits there and it records and then some people like to start off talking about the shifter you know or the steering wheel or the screen or the dash layout Oh, excuse me. Me personally, I'm all over the map sometimes. Sometimes I start off talking about the door. Sometimes I start off talking about the seat. Sometimes I talk about start start off talking about the steering wheel. Whatever catches my eye right from the jump, them are the first things that I'm going to talk about. Then I try to catch all the little bitty things that really most people don't pay attention to or that I didn't know about myself. And then I just talk about it. And then uh, a lot of times in a lot of my car reviews, since I'm so tall, I like to give people a backseat uh, comparison test from your average person sitting in the back to a 6'10", 220 person like myself sitting in the back and letting you know how the leg room is and my head room is cool because like what, I'm taller than 90% of the people in the world that's my, the, well, I think the average height person is like six foot or something like that, right, for your average male. So you gotta think if I'm giving a perspective from a 6'10 person in the back seat, how people can uh, relate to how much room they would have back there. If they're six foot and I'm six ten back there and I'm saying it's cool back here and they're like, oh, well, I'm six foot and he's six ten and he can fit, I can all the way fit back there and be super comfortable like I'm in a Maybach. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I try to give it, I try to tell y'all in a way in which y'all can understand without y'all having to be there because I do understand what it's like to just watch car review videos and not actually have the car or I'm researching the car but never been in the car. So I'm kind of trying to live through somebody else. I know what that feels like so I try to make it as relatable to y'all as possible and so that way my thoughts and the way I'm talking transition to y'all brain very easily and it makes it uh kind of easy to relate with what i'm talking about but like i said man that's all i really do and then i talk about the leather back there the head room the leg room up here and back there and the storage compartments the bottle um actually let me get some more since i'm so thirsty i talk about the bottle holders the cup holders everything man how the transmission feels and then after that i literally just go on a drive and then let's actually let's just do that right now i start up the car 
like so. Let y'all hear the exhaust and everything. Buckle up. And then I kind of just proceed to start to talk about like how initially how I feel when I first hit the gas. You know, all that stuff. Just stuff that you would care about. This is a st like there's a lot of things that there's never going to be a perfect car review. There's never going to be a perfect video because the, the thing is there's opinions are like assholes, right? Everybody got one, right? I remember my guy SRT Munch said that, man. Uh, shout out to him. But um, there's a lot of trolls on the internet and not just trolls. It's just a lot of people on there who got their own feedback that they want to give a video, right? So you're going to be lacking some things, some more than others sometimes, but nonetheless, it's never going to be perfect because there's going to be a lot of people that would have done it differently. All right. So what I think the winning formula that you can use when doing a car review, in my opinion, is to just be yourself and talk about what's important to you. All right. Now, you want to talk about what your subscribers like and everything, you know, cool. But at the same time, to the core of you, your car reviews should be about what matters to you and what you think uh, you would like to hear is if you were a, a subscriber before you made your YouTube channel. And that's all I do. I talk about it from like an everyday person, somebody who doesn't know about cars. If they got in the car and they started talking about the car and they drove the car, how would they talk to you? Would they, they wouldn't give you all the analytical engineering stuff behind the scene, would they? No, they would talk to you like how I'm talking to you. So that's why I do my car reviews the way I do them. You know, but there's a lot of people who would want to be more professional, maybe more laid back at the same time. Who knows? All right. But like I said, I think to the core of you, you should talk about the things that matter most to you. And if you weren't a YouTube channel yourself, what kind of videos would you have liked to watch? That's the kind of uh, car review videos I feel like you should make. But like I said, I'm not a big YouTube channel, man. You know, um, I got about 120 some thousand subscribers. You know, nothing crazy. I'm a, I'm a real peon in this YouTube world to be all the way real. There's people with millions and millions of subscribers. You know what I mean? I'm talking about as far as my subscriber count goes. I'm a, I'm a little guy in, 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 a, in a big ocean, vast ocean. All right. So like I said, man, I'm not, I'm not giving it from a standpoint of saying, look, I'm the most successful car YouTube channel and I'm trying to tell y'all how to do this. No, I'm telling you that I've had some success with this uh, car review stuff and this is work. This is what has worked for me. So I do believe it could work for y'all. Like, and I, like I said, the most important piece to me is that you be yourself. Always be yourself, man. Don't try to mock or imitate or replicate anybody else. Be yourself because that's your best gift that you got going for you. Anybody in the world, it doesn't matter what you're doing. God has given everybody their own gift that nobody else has in this entire world. So use that gift as your advantage. But I've gotten a lot of people um, who have asked me to make these make this video in particular right here how to do a car review video and at the same time it has always been a plan of mine because i remember when i first uh before i even made my youtube channel i would like i said i would watch people who did car reviews and i would look up and search in the search engine how to make your own car review videos and i used to think there was some sort of master plan for it like you had to be scripted you had to have the right camera you have to write this the dolly the the spinny thing or the tripod no you don't have to you know what i mean you can and it helps, but you don't have to. Like I said, I started with a Hero 3 and my cell phone for the taking the thumbnail. So you gotta understand it and look where it's taking me so far. So, and I'm not gonna say like, just use that forever and don't ever try to upgrade your equipment. But I'm saying the, obviously the more your, your channel profits and the more uh, popularity you build, the more money you get, which gives you the more revenue. So then once you get the more, more revenue, then you can buy stuff like that and invest in your channel. But other than that, I just don't feel like you should, you know, just get the ball rolling as far as making the videos, get used to being in front of the camera that to me was a very challenging part too being in front of the camera I've never been in front of the camera my entire life not in the way in which I'm in front of the camera now I'm, I'm literally just in a car talking to a GoPro Hero 5 Black like how how like you gotta think how awkward that is if you're not used to being on camera so this this took a while to get used to it's safe to say but once I got used to it and I kept doing it over and over the better I got it just like anything else in life so you gotta get used to that and once you get used to that everything else kind of just becomes second nature you know what I mean you, it's just it's just repetition, 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 man. That's it. And the honest truth is I used to really feel like you had to have a special talent to be popular on YouTube or to do, get videos and mega hits and all that stuff. No, all you gotta do is just be yourself and do something that somebody else isn't already doing. Don't do what somebody else is already doing. Obviously, if you're not the originator, you're not gonna blow really like that. You might get some form of success, but it's not gonna be to the form of success in which you might like, you know, so, um, or want, so, or desire, or you're motivating to get, or whatever, you know what I mean? Just be yourself and that's going to be the best recipe you can have for yourself. Get used to being in front of camera. Talk with some enthusiasm. Don't be on here like, yeah, well, um, this is my thoughts on the camera and the car. Be yourself. Because that, and, and, and talk enthusiastic. Be Have some energy. Nobody wants to watch a video where it sounds like they're reading a book. Hey, how you doing, Miss Lady? <laughs> um, but... 
nobody wants to watch a video where it seems like they're reading a book like i said man no i don't know anybody who want to do that like there's probably some people out there there's a lane for everything like i always say but um i'm actually heading into the house right now but uh, it might get a little dark on y'all but just talk with some enthusiasm and and like i said be yourself and, and be original man be original if you're being yourself you're being original off bat there's no way you can be yourself without being original all right they go hand in hand original and being yourself is same thing quick summary um you know be yourself man being yourself is original you know uh don't be afraid to do things differently you know because some person everybody might do things one way doesn't mean you gotta do it that way be yourself and do it your way all right and the third thing all right like I said, talk about the exterior, talk about all the things that people want to hear about and make it relatable to people and get them to understand from how you're thinking and what you're trying to transition to them. Let that transition easy to their brain so that way it can manifest on them and that way they can, that, oh, well, if he did that, then, you know, make it relatable to their life. And if you're relatable, people are going to rock with you. You know what I mean? If you're not relatable, who's really going to rock with you, right? And the fourth thing, be enthusiastic, have some good energy, you know, like talk with some confidence. If you don't talk with no confidence, you're not out here loud to where people can actually hear you now. There's a difference between loud, like don't be loud, like, ah, you know, like annoyingly loud. Be loud enough, like where you talk with some assertiveness, assertiveness and confidence, you know, because um, that's going to keep people drawn in. Like if you're boring and you talk quiet and you're low and nobody wants to listen to that, nobody, you're going to tune right out. They're going to swipe down and swipe it up out of there. All right. Now you want to have some confidence and talk with some good energy so people stay tuned in. Like, oh, okay, this guy, even if you don't know what you're talking about, it sounds like you know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, that's going to keep people tuned into you, all right? And uh, that's just about it, man. Ain't really much else I can say. All right? I go my girl walking the dog. But that's really all I can say. So, um, just like that, man, this video is over. Hope it was informative. I hope it helped you out a lot. But, yeah, like I said, this one's done. Bong, gone. See y'all later, man. I'm out of here.